What's up guys, it's Vehicle Master 3000 back again. Just got this from the Goodwill, this Road Rippers. I know it's a Mad Machine, that's all I know about it. It's a Mad Machine's police SUV is just what I'm gonna call it. Found it at the Goodwill today, and I found some other stuff too. Now this is the one thing that I know for sure that works out of the three things I got. I got this one and I got two other ones. One, I think, was working fully, but I have to make a video of it to be sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's supposed to do something. And then the other one doesn't work at all. The buttons aren't responding. I put fresh batteries in that one, and it's not doing anything. So, got to fix that before I make a video. But this one is working the best, for sure, right now. So, this is the 2012 Toy State Road Rippers Man Machines Police SUV. I don't know. I think... Master Road Ripper Collector might have one of these. I don't remember all the Mad Machines vehicles he has anymore because those videos were uploaded quite a while ago and there was a lot of them. But I think he might have this one. So yeah, this one, I had to do a little bit of work to this too. And I'm kind of surprised that it made it through because it's a Mad Machine and it's cheap. But uh, basically when I got it, it actually had working batteries in it. But the, uh, the motor wasn't locked, but it was definitely need in need of some lubrication. Like... It wouldn't move when I would press the forward button, or it would, but it would take the movement of my hand to make it move. That's how I knew there was a motor in there, and it was trying. So yeah, it had it had functional batteries, but when I got it home, I went ahead and changed the batteries just for good measure, because why not? You put fresh ones in. But you know, I did that, then I opened it, and it, the way to get the motor out is actually really weird. Technically, probably could have done it without taking the body off, but I didn't, so oh well. But yeah. I got the gearbox off and I lubricated what I could get in there. I wanted to get all the way inside, but I could only reach one gear and the motor. I couldn't reach like, like I wanted to take the motor out and lubricate it fully, but I could only reach the back end where the wires are and lubricate that. That did seem to help, but I would still like to have lubricated the whole thing. But I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get into that gearbox and I'm not trying anymore because it's a mad machine and I'm surprised it didn't break already. And it, survive so yeah it works fully enough it works enough right now so you got the front here with the lights nothing else actually they don't light up they're just there got the top it is a little banged up and you've got the windshield it's got a little light up on there or on the roof you have your Mad Machine buttons, three, well, two squares and a triangle. And you got the spoiler. It looks kind of like the mini Russian rescue version, but it's not. You got the back here. And this doesn't, already doesn't really have the best gearbox because it's cheap. That's why I'm surprised I was able to save it without pulling any wires or breaking anything. And when I got it, the battery cover was super loose too. There's your toy stay information. It's got a small but decently loud speaker. There's the stuff on the side. So yeah, all in all, all in all, nice vehicle. So let's press the buttons here. This isn't very fast either. That's why I'm saying like I would have liked to have gotten in there and completely lubricated everything because I think it can probably still go a little bit faster, but it's not very fast at all. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe videos of the other stuff well i'll upload a video of the uh other vehicle i found that i think is fully working tomorrow but 
the other one. I don't know. I'll have to fix it first. Anyway, peace out.